Donald Trump poses a threat for women due to his views on abortion and should be prevented from returning to the White House, U.S. First Lady Jill Biden has said her husband, U.S. President Joe Biden, spent his entire career lifting up women in stark contrast to his main rival in this year's election, she insisted at the launch of her Women for Biden campaign effort in Atlanta, Georgia. Trump spent a lifetime tearing us down and devaluing our existence. He mocks women's bodies, disrespects our accomplishments, and brags about assault, the first lady claimed, the latter point appears to be a reference to a recording that made headlines ahead of the presidential election in 2016. It featured a private conversation in which Trump bragged about the benefits of being a star when it comes to relations with females. They let you do it. You can do anything. Grab him by the P asterisk SSY, he is heard saying on the tape. Now, he's bragging about killing Roe Wade, Biden said. Roe Wade was a 1973 decision by the U.S. Supreme Court which generally protected the right to abortion in America. After Trump appointed three conservative justices to the court during his term, it overturned its previous ruling in 2022, and several states immediately banned the procedure. Trump took credit again for enabling states like Georgia to pass cruel abortion bans that are taking away the right of women to make their own health care decisions. How far will he go? When will he stop? You know the answer. He won't, she stated. Donald Trump is dangerous to women and to our families. We simply can't let him win, the first lady urged the crowd during an interview with Fox News, Trump said that he had not yet made up his mind on the number of weeks after which abortion should be banned. More and more I'm hearing about 15 weeks, and I haven't decided yet, he said, adding that we got it back to the states where it belongs. A lot of states are taking very strong stances. Jill Biden is slated to address female voters in key swing states, Georgia, Arizona, Nevada, and Wisconsin, as part of her Women for Biden initiative. The Biden campaign will also be releasing ads targeting women up until the election on November 5th. U.S. House Speaker Johnson assures Zelensky of support for Ukraine. Speaker of the House Mike Johnson has pledged to President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky to do everything to continue aid to Ukraine, according to Zelensky's interview with CNN. According to the Ukrainian president, when he spoke with Johnson, he said he supports Ukraine. He said that he will do everything to support Ukraine and he's on our side and he understands how heroic our people, our soldiers and civilians are. Zelensky said he revealed that he reached out to U.S. President Joe Biden and Johnson to urge them to pause the differences between Democrats and Republicans to reach an agreement on Ukraine. Zelensky said that the election period is tough and he thinks Johnson as well as Biden heard the message he delivers and that's all he could do. He couldn't push the speaker. It's his decision. But I think he understands all the problems we face, said Zelensky. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said that Vladimir Putin gains every day as the U.S. House of Representatives postpones the adoption of a new aid package for Ukraine. On February the 13th, the United States Senate supported a bill to aid Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan for $95 billion. Over $60 billion is earmarked for Ukraine. However, for this bill to take effect, it must be approved by the U.S. House of Representatives and signed by President Joe Biden. Speaker of the House Mike Johnson opposed the initiative, following which President Joe Biden called on the House of Representatives to approve the bill. However, the U.S. House of Representatives announced a recess until February the 28th, thereby delaying the process of providing aid to Ukraine. Ukraine at risk of cascading frontline collapse. New York Times. Ukraine's worsening lack of ammunition and battle fatigue will most likely force Kiev to abandon its current frontline positions unless it receives new aid from the West, the New York Times reported. The paper said that Ukrainian defenses near the key stronghold of Avdiivka in Russia's Donetsk region are reeling under relentless attacks and Kiev's problems extend beyond one single battle. Ukrainian troops, the New York Times added, are exhausted and suffer from a lack of weapons and ammunition, especially with regard to air defense systems. According to unnamed U.S. officials interviewed by the outlet, Kiev only has enough air defense assets to last until March unless it receives new shipments. This is far from certain, as the U.S., Ukraine's main backer, is locked in congressional gridlock over President Joe Biden's request to approve a $118 billion security bill, $60 billion of which is earmarked for Kiev. Many Republicans have been reluctant to support the measure, claiming it does too little 
to improve security on the border with Mexico. Western officials believe that without US aid, a cascading collapse along the front line is a real possibility in 2024, the article says. Nevertheless, they reportedly estimate that it will take at least a couple of months for the shortages to take a toll. According to analysts, by March, Ukraine could be struggling to carry out local counterattacks, and by summer, Kiev could find it difficult to repel Russian assaults. Without continued US support, New York Times sources say it's hard to see how Ukraine will be able to maintain its current positions on the battlefield. Ukrainian officials have repeatedly complained of a shortage of ammunition, calling it a very real and pressing problem. Meanwhile, the Financial Times reported, citing a senior EU official, that it will not be easy for the Europeans to substitute for the US.